hi everybody it's angela here i want i wanted to share this in zoom because i just love this background it reminds me to be in nature to return to my personal nature and today i am sharing saucha which is the last of the five niyamas part of the eight limbs of yoga the niyamas are about self the way we interact with ourselves. It's also known as right living. So how we live impacts everyone around us. In November, we'll talk about the yamas, which is how the self interacts in, with the outside world. But Saucha today is deeply meaningful. And I just want to start with this quote by BKS Iyengar. He was the yogi the guru who brought yoga to the Western world. So he's, you know, quite admired individual. And I, his teachings really brought me to study yoga um, for so many years. So what he said is the body is your temple and keep it pure and clean for your soul to reside in. Saucha means purity, cleanliness, clearness, and those qualities are revealing of our soul. They allow our being, our true nature to shine and to be bright and glowing for the world. So Saucha is the act of the tidiness, the purity in body and home in the way you comport yourself in your car your business and this helps to allow and reveal the truth of who you are your spirit so saucha is definitely something that i love i think that saucha is just it's so revealing of so many things and when you study this kind of energy, prana, energy, you see it in different ways and it can help you understand what another person's path may be like and to offer some compassion. So the first thing that I just wanna say about Salcha is that it helps us, I have some notes here, so I'm just going to refer to them a bit. But Salcha helps us to develop an understanding about our body and how we how we practice Salcha around our hygiene helps us to really honor and respect ourselves. So the practice of for example, really attending to our personal hygiene, offering um, a bianga, for example, that act of self-love with r rubbing our bodies and massaging our bodies with oil can help us really understand what's happening on our bodies every day. If we have a little ache or a pain in our elbow, we can just kind of take note of that. And then on the good days, when you don't have an ache or a pain in your elbow, you can celebrate that, right? And feel good, like, mm, it's a good day. So that connection with our body helps us to really have better relationships with others. If we're honoring where we are, we can do the same for others. So it's really about having that deep relationship with ourself that helps us to open a beautiful relationship with someone else. So Saucha, Saucha, it helps to purify the subtle energies. So when we have uh, a nice clean mouth, what that means is that we can have a really wonderful cardiovascular system because if we floss our teeth if we have an impeccable dental hygiene 
our health overall is probably going to be elevated or even be fine. I think that um, that's just one example. If we are back to Abhyanga, if we do Abhyanga every day, it helps to revitalize our nerve conductivity and how our nervous system works. It calms the nervous system. It affects the subtle energies by helping to suppress the fight or flight feelings and hormones of adrenaline and cortisol, which are really part of our Western world lifestyle. Amyanga helps to suppress that and to reveal the subtle hormone release of estrogen and progesterone, our feminine or hormones that help us to feel feminine, right? That, that um, yogini prana that we really love. It can come from that very simple concept of cleanliness, clearness. So the importance is quite amazing if you really take the time to think about it. The other thing Salcha does is to help us have focus. It harmonizes the interior world with the exterior world. It helps us to have mastery of our senses. So when, when we have clarity, clearness, we can see better. We can see out the window better, right? If we have a clean window, if we have clean eyes, by washing the eyes, we can have clarity. By removing all of the clutter and maybe too much stuff, our vestibular sense of where we are in space and time, we have that clarity to be able to move and to be graceful without feeling like we're all crunched up and have to turn a certain way to get through the hallway. So that capa this also offers this capability of self-realization when we can have our senses, our mastery of being able to hear clearly because there isn't a lot of loud noises going on, music's turned down, space is set up well. We can think clearly and offer our best our best and highest functioning decision-making problem-solving with Salcha. So it may seem like an afterthought. Oh, I don't have time to tidy up. I don't have time to clean my body. I'm just going to go straight into lunch and breakfast and just forget about it. I don't have time to take a shower. That's just not the right way of thinking because to bring in the excrement, the waste, the secretions, the oily secretions from yesterday, the waste of your body. It's just not a great way to be. It murks up the essence of your being, the soul of your being. This is a little tricky, but if you are someone who may hold, hold oh, I have to hold it, your, you know, if you have to go to the bathroom, I'm just gonna hold it and finish this task on the computer and just hold it until it's time. That is not a healthy approach to Salcha. Go and cleanse yourself. That's what you're doing when you go to the bathroom. You're cleansing the body of the waste, letting it go out with the old. Let it go in Ayurveda. To hold these kinds of bodily functions is really unhelpful. It not only, you know, you may have some sort of absorption of the waste, but you may also stop and stagnate the nervous system because it, now it's like orienting to this holding. The senses are holding it all in. So then 
it creates absent-mindedness it stymies any kind of higher functioning thought so that can turn into a habit and really should be unraveled and let go that is part of satcha that I, I hate to even bring up but it's something people do it can cause a lot of different kinds of problems so if you have any interests or questions about that drop me a dm and i can talk about that with you offline the, some things that i wanted to suggest to you with this idea of fall cleansing my colleagues my the, my teachers my gurus are talking about cleansing fall cleansing and what does that mean some people cleanse with bone broth and juices and i'd like to invite you set that kind of deep cleansing aside for a moment and think of cleansing in the way of a daily cleanse every day we have the opportunity to cleanse our body with hot water in the morning drinking sips of hot or warm water throughout the day cleanses the cells the skin really opens up the skin to have a glow a shine that can really help you feel better and help to reveal the essence of who you are so hydration throughout the day is a great way to cleanse the body solitude is a wonderful way to cleanse and clear the mind if you've been working you've been talking a lot to people maybe you're a real estate agent and you're really engaging with people mortgage brokers da, 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 da taking time to be quiet and have it be qualitative time sometimes we get time in the car that's my time sometimes sometimes that's all we get but to have a little time maybe in the morning to set yourself up well for the day have time to be maybe time to read on your own it rejuvenates the essence of who you are it's very cleansing practice the third thing that I wanted to share is compassion and really offering the compassion to your own self to take yourself a little less seriously giving yourself some compassion to make mistakes have some failures and just be compassionate bathe yourself in love and know that you know this too shall pass when we have failures we're able to reveal what's going to be the success so it's just all part of the the balancing act when you're with others bathe them in compassion offer the gift of detachment from a conversation and that sounds very counterintuitive but to be able to detach from feelings of judgment, emotions, or any kind of shock that someone may be sharing with you is a gift because it helps you reflect to the person their own truth and what is actually happening without a filter, without your personal stuff in the mix so compassion bathing yourself and others in compassion is very cleansing and reveals the truth of what's happening the fourth thing that I'd like to suggest to you is to add some minimalism in your life clearing your space clearing your space on your body in your surroundings and really allow for things that you really love to share the truth about who you are in your home, what you wear, revealing more of yourself and cleansing the appearance of things. And then the last thing that I wanted to share is just simple breathing. The breath is incredibly cleansing and clearing to the body. The breath brings more oxygen into your blood, which nourishes the body, the tissues. And when we have nourished blood, 
we're better able to absorb the minerals and nutrients and vitamins of what we eat. So this is a very cleansing action to breathe, to breathe in and out. You can add a cleansing breath of breathing in and then out through the mouth. And that can really cleanse the breath. Cleanses the, the lungs and it allows for more absorption of oxygen into the lungs, which feeds the heart, which feeds the rest of your body and your brain. And to have a real allocated pranayama breath practice is one secret of the yoginis to really allocate time for breathing, just like you allocate time for just being in solitude. All of these tips, so just to recap, water, drinking water, having solitude, bathing someone in compassion, offering some minimalism to your space and breathing are all five ways that you can add some cleansing fall cleansing to your life through the act of sapcha thank you for being here adding this ritual to your life thank you for for connecting leave some comments if you like add a um, direct message to me and I'll reach back out to you. I'd be happy to do that. And share in the group here how this is working for you. I'd love to hear. Thank you for being here. Namaste. Namaste.